The 30-day legislative session is now underway in Santa Fe. Lawmakers have hit the ground running following the governor's final state of the state. But will they send the bills to Governor Martinez that she wants to see passed during her last session? News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse with more. Madeline. Hey, well, Kim, Governor Martinez called the state of the state strong and getting stronger in her final address this afternoon. But she went on to say that we need to do more to curb New Mexico's crime problem. I learned a long time ago as a prosecutor, and it's just plain common sense that those who commit crimes will go where the laws are weak and punishments are light. And in New Mexico, they have found their easy mark. In demonstrating what she calls a revolving door problem with the justice system, Governor Martinez introduced a state police officer who was shot in the line of duty in August. Miraculously, his badge stopped a bullet. This suspect had a lengthy violent criminal record. She expressed hope, pointing to a number of bipartisan crime measures that have been pre filed in both chambers. But Democratic lawmakers have a slightly different plan. Public safety is a critical issue for us Democrats, but we have a di very different view than the governor. While she solely focuses on punishment and prosecution, <coughs> we believe <coughs> that it's just as important to have prevention and rehabilitation. Still, they agreed with her on some topics, including improving the education system in New Mexico, raising teacher salaries, and their bipartisan budget, which is on par with Governor Martinez's uh, desired budget. Now, while it looks like there will be more cooperation this year between Democrats and Republicans, some Senate Republicans didn't shy away from saying that they look forward to this same time next year when there's a new governor in office. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. That was some Senate Democrats. Now, one bill that has not been filed is social promotion. Since taking office, the governor has pushed a bill that would hold back third graders who are not proficient in reading. Now, the governor did not talk at all about that today. She talked more about teacher principal mentoring programs, anti truancy efforts, and early reading interventions.